Good morning, good morning. It's a beautiful Labor Day morning today, and I want to get into the Word and share something good with you. Where it says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 9, he wrote, And concerning brotherly love, you do not need me to write to you, for you yourselves are taught by God to love one another, and indeed you do have love for all the brothers who are in all Macedonia. But we urge you, brothers, that you increase more and more. So Paul said, you already know to walk according to this. Now he's talking about love, but let's apply this to anywhere. You already know this. This is true. You understand something, but we're urging you to increase more and more. Don't become stagnant in the things of God. Don't become stagnant in the truth, period. The things of God really are just walking in truth. It's the creator bringing us back to what's real and having us walk in it. And I was thinking about that. You know, I had a couple questions I'd written down to uh, spur myself and to spur others where you said, why do I believe what I believe? And do I really believe what I say I believe? The gospel and the truth is not afraid of being challenged, of being questioned. I'm not talking about making foolish uh, stabs at something, questioning like a, like a child saying, well, Dad, why do I need to do that? No, I'm talking about saying, is this what God said? Is this the truth? I know I've been taught this and I'm grateful for my teachers, but is it real? Is it true? Does it bring results? You know, a, a series of beliefs that never ever has reality is possibly, quite possibly, wrong beliefs. So it's good to ask yourself why you believe what you believe. And it's also good to take what you believe that you know is true and don't stop there. Continue on, grow in it. Don't think that we've reached the pinnacle of everything. We know that Jesus is the truth. He's the pinnacle. We don't need to go on to uh, Jesus, you know, second edition, but everything we've understood about walking in what God has taught us, what is real in love and peace and patience, and, and how we understand how the Spirit works, that's great. Now let's grow. Let's be urged on, brothers, to increase more and more. Let God challenge us to grow more and more. Amen. Be blessed.